and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to attempt to do, well, I'm going to attempt to solve a crossword. I'm not sure if it's a cryptic crossword yet, um, but this appeared on our Twitter account uh, this afternoon, and it's called Fist Mafel Ring, and it's by somebody called Christopher Adams, featuring Ricky Cruz. Now, Ricky Cruz is a name I know. Uh, Ricky does some amazing Sudokus, often with incredible graphics. Um, but when I first saw the tweet about this, I thought it was something, I thought it was a Sudoku, frankly. Uh, but someone suggested I should actually take a look at it. I've now realized it's a crossword and it does indeed. In fact, it is a nine by nine crossword with a fist Mafel ring delineated in the right place. So I'm going to have a quick go at this now. It, this may turn out to be a complete fool's errand but i very much trust ricky cruz i saw he retweeted it so i'm hoping it might be quite interesting let's have a look now one across um okay one across you have to double click on things to change the direction is not clued neither is six o'clock across ten across eleven across zimini's or Torquemada. now i know these people as crossword setters um but they, well, the crossword setters, which I think were from the 1920s and 1930s, were named after Spanish inquisitors. Uh, so these are inquisit. No, hang on, inquisit. No, it's not got enough letters. Simonis or Torquemada. And why is there a star there? What does a star mean? Maybe I'm meant to. Maybe there's some instructions I'm meant to know about. Um. I don't know. Chillingly creepy, like many 27 down works. It's 27 down. Author and namesake of the Baltimore Ravens mascot. Now, ah, this is where I'm going to come unstuck. I have no clue. I think the Baltimore Ravens might be American football, but I'm probably, they're probably basketball or something else. Um, but I've no idea who their mascot is. So this is, <laughs> this is not going very well. Hang on. So we've got 15 across Mexican currency divided into centavos that's peso i think uh well it might be peso um should we try and use that father of achilles in myth i know that that's peleus i think um a little bit of classical knowledge coming in handy maybe we'll try and use this l side dishes made of shredded cabbage coleslaw slaws is that a word Hmm, I'm not sure. That would put a W in. <laughs> it would put a W in a clue that's got no clue. So that's not terribly useful. What about 24 down? Four-wheeled off-road vehicles. Briefly, I have no clue what that that means. That's going to be some abbreviation that only Americans know. I think. Um, let's have a look at 16 across. Mathematical term for an unspecified term in a sequence. Oh, that's nth. I think. Um, now let's see if we get some starting letters. 16 down is not clued. Um, 17 down, word before cuisine or couture, haute. Okay, that I can do. Um, I know what to do now. 18 across, body part often used to test the water. So toe, you to put your toe in the water, don't you? Um, palindromic compressed file format and alternative to dot zip. No, I do not know that. Um, 21 across. My word, egad. That's an old um, old expression. In fact, that might mean it's wrong, but egad is uh, quite a common British crossword word. Oh, uh, that's my slaws one. Uh, what about this one? Governmental overthrow. Hmm. You s um, don't know. 22 down. No, we haven't got a clue for that. This is going terribly badly. Uh, 29 across. No. Are these all unclued? No, they're all unclued. Oh, good grief. I don't feel I've, there's anything like enough clues. Oh, I haven't looked at some down clues. Patreon pledge level. Tier? We get Patreon tiers. Speaking of tiers, if this video ever goes out, and become a patron of the channel for just a $2 tier or a $3 tier. $3 tiers get solution videos. Oh, I've made a mistake. There, there presumably is not an answer that's got a T and a D in it. 
Fairness as in the name of an American theatre labour union. Ooh, equity. Well, equity is the is also the actors' union in the UK, so it's probably equity. Oh, so this is not EGAD. I'm not terribly surprised, actually. When I put it in, I was a bit... My word. I say... Um, ten across has got a queue. Oh, ten across is unclued. Ah, what's five down? Fireworks that doesn't work. Squib doesn't fire or work. A dud? Because that would, ah, uh, if that's a U, which is likely given it's got to follow a Q, a dud perhaps? That could be wrong, but let's, let's put it in. Six down. Corporate bigwig, briefly. CEO or CFO? CEO probably, that's more senior. Um, seven down. Shahid Khan vis-a-vis -vis Fulham FC and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Owner? I think Shahid Khan is the owner of Fulham Football Club. I don't know whether he or she also owns the Jackson Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars, I should say. Ah, six, six across is unclued. Eleven across is unclued. The Fistima for... Oh, right. Hang on a minute. Oh, that would be lovely. Right, I've had an idea as to how this works. Let's just carry on. What I'm wondering now is, of course, from a Sudoku perspective, we know in a in a normal Sudoku, of which this isn't, the, fist, the, the cells that fill the Fistimafel ring have to be the same as the 16 digits in the corner and the 2 by 2s in the corners. So I'm just wondering, that would imply that there would be no clue for 1 across, 10 across, 1 down, two down yeah this might be right mind it what's this one? Oh, this is Zimini. oh this is pseudonym then Zimini's or Torquemada yeah okay pseudonym that would work um what's eight so we haven't got eight down we haven't got nine down presumably we won't have eight six across or eleven across so what we're going to have to do is fill the Fistimafel ring and then allocate these letters to the two by twos in the corners to make real words. I think that's a lovely idea. Oh, I very much approve of that. Palindromic. Oh, well, that means that's an R. Oh, I have R A R. I think I have seen that on the computer. R A R. Don't know what it means, but it's probably correct. Um, oh, now this could be. What about fourteen down? Goddess of the Dawn is Eos, that shares her name with a Canon camera and a beauty company. Ooh, could be Eos, I don't know. I don't know either of the things about the cameras or the beauty company, but that is a Goddess of the Dawn. Uh, and that works with slaws. 13 across, that should be... Chillingly creepy could be eerie, couldn't it? Let's put eerie in. That looks like it's creating things that might work. Reset or something down there, or inset. That could be anything in one down. Um, what's oh, four wheeled off road vehicles briefly? I may never know that. Um, so, which clues have I not got? that are possible to get. Whoa, I don't know if you can see that. So Daddy Longlegs just flying. <laughs> Did you, I hope you saw that. It was enormous. Um, oh, this is the auth. Oh, this is the eerie auth. Oh, well, the Baltimore, if it was Edgar Allan Poe, that would be rather nice. And it would give me a, ch a chance to say, open here I flung a shutter when with many a flirt and flutter in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not an instant stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door. Perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Sorry, I like that poem. Um, oh, Bobbins. 28 down, organisation seen in Breaking Bad and Narcos. Oh, that's going to be an American organisation. Breaking Bad is about crystal meth isn't it so d department of drug enforcement i don't know um what's this one Gov in fact i'm running really running out of clues here i think i've got the 
the Breaking Bad one, the 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 abbreviation for off-road vehicles, and twenty-six across governmental overthrow. Oh, coup d'état. That will work. Coup d'état. Um. So. Organization seen in Breaking Bad. Drug. I want it to be something like dr oh, Drug Enforcement Agency. D the DEA I've heard of. Is that what is that what that does? That would actually be quite interesting with this 30 across clue. There is only one word I know that would fit in there. Uh, and that's oeuvre, as in a body of work. Uh, no, that's not... Oh, no, hang on. I was about to say that's not right, because it, there's no V in the Fistimafel ring, but the Fistimafel ring applies to the corners, not to this square. Ah, this could be something like all-terrain vehicle, then. And that would be lovely, because I would actually, therefore, know this abbreviation by default. So if that is oeuvre, that could be aware, maybe. That could be asset or asses. Ooh, no asset I prefer and that's good. that could be stet. Right, this is this might be correct, I think. So now the challenge and we're gonna have to do this quite carefully because I can't really check. <laughs> I can't colour in the digits I'm gonna use or the letters I'm gonna use, but what what I want to do oh that could be unique. Unique would be very nice. So how should we do this so that we're gonna actually know that we've used all sixteen letters? If I put unique in there, then that could be ah uh, that could be inset or onset. That could be it's probably dupe. I'm not actually sure it could be anything but dupe. So that would mean well, dited isn't a word. I think doted for onset. So there I've used d n d o n u, which is d o n u. Okay, that's nice. So I've used these four. Now, what do we do over here then? Hmm, there's a lot of options here, aren't there? D O N E D sorry D U O N Core perhaps Code Ooh, not sure maybe. Oh that could be niche. Is there an H yes there is an H. There is an H. Ah yeah, H and E would come out, and I quite like doing that because it sort of fills, I know which ones I'll have used up. So if that was an H and that was an E, ooh, if that's an E, that's got to be Epe, probably. There is a P. Ooh, that's tempting. Let me go with that. E oh, sorry. I want Epe there, and then I want Niche there. Now I've used these five, this H and this P, and I've got to put in something there that could be soap or soup. That would get hat or hat or hut. Oh, bother. Okay, so now, well, let's put oeuvre in. That's going to be R-E. That's going to be aware, isn't it? So R-E. So now I've oh, now I've used those two. Then I need to use aware for another E. Ah, this is all getting confusing. And that could be stet. So I'm now lost. I've now lost track hopelessly of which ones I've actually I've actually got. I might have to use a piece of paper to do this. Um, so hang on a sec. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm knocking the microphone all over the place. But I've got U Don R E H R A A up debt, and I have used. D O N U in the top left. I've used H E P in the bottom left. I've used R E E T in the bottom right. I've still got Rad Rada and U to use. Rada and U, and I've got to put that together. Well, Rada, I must use a consonant there then. That's going to be a D. So that's probably days. In fact, it, it will be days. That's going to be the only thing that will work. So days, now I've got R, A, and U. Armor, coda, war. There you go. 
and that leaves a U there, I think. Don't know what's going to happen. Yes, I've completed the puzzle in 2 hours, 49 minutes, 35 seconds. So that's because I started it, well, I didn't start it, but I loaded it before I went to dinner, and I've come back several hours later after watching The Great British Bake Off and various other things on TV, and I have finished it. So that is rather, actually, I really like it. I really like, really do like that. It's very, very clever. And it's sort of a nice mashup between um, between Sudoku and, and crosswords. And it's done in a very elegant way. And you, you probably would have a chance of solving that, even if you didn't know what the Fistemafel ring is, because these grey ones are all sort of highlighted in the grid, and they have to be allocated round. Really enjoyed it. Chris Adams, Christopher Adams, take a bow. Very fine indeed. I hope you enjoyed watching me work through it. Something a bit different. I hope you had a go at the puzzle too um, before you watched me. And uh, we'll be back later with a, a new normal edition of Cracking the Cryptic.